All right, guys, we are down in the basement here looking at replacement on the furnace of the uh, system servicing the second floor. Um, we were down just right at the bottom of the stairs here. Uh, the front of the house is over here, so you just come inside and to the right uh, is the staircase behind me. Uh, there was a sewer backup that caused um, water to, uh, to come into the basement, got into the furnace, messed the furnace up. Uh, this unit, I think probably the best thing to do here is, uh, it looks like they're going to need a flue liner. It's hard to tell what's going on here, but if there is one in there, it's probably in pretty bad shape. So I think we're just going to cap this, put a four inch cap on it. And then we got two options. I'm going to go outside and I'll take a look at this. I'm not sure there's a window pane behind this. If there's not, we can just cut a hole in the metal and go out with the exhaust. Otherwise, um, you can get to the brick up there. Um, that's above grade and go through the brick there. Or if it makes more sense, it might be a little bit easier to get to over here. These are a little bit more open. Um, so you could always flip, always flip the furnace around and exhaust out that way. Um, if we can't go, if we can't go through this sheet metal right here, um, this unit, this unit I think is way oversized. It's a C width, three ton coil. It's 125,000 BTUs. It's just servicing the second floor. It's got a little like seven by 20 return on it. That's going to have to get pulled and replaced. Um, get a new filter housing on there, probably looking at B width, um, tying into a C width coil, but this is an eight by 16. And as far as I can tell, um, it comes down to the beam and then it goes straight up to the second floor. I think this might be the only supply on it. Um, there might be something I'm kind of hoping that there is a plenum above this, or excuse me, supply above the plenum here that's going straight up. Um, that would be that would be helpful <laughs> otherwise an 8 by 16 is only about i think 700 cfm um so we're probably looking at like a 60,000 btu high efficiency unit probably an s9 x1 um so anyway just follow the uh follow the checklist on that i'll grab a picture of possibly a video outside looking at that as well